In this project, you'll be starting with the empty physics engine and then gradually adding in the parts that make up your robot. In this project, you're going to be creating a four-legged robot where each leg is made up of a lower leg and an upper leg and both are attached to the main body. In bullets, each object is described by 10 numbers. For creating a rectangular solid, we need to define the width, length, and height of the rectangular solid. We also need to tell the physics engine where to place this object in three-dimensional space. So we need to give the center of this object an initial x, y, and z coordinate. And then finally, we need to define a mass for this object. All of the objects that make up your robot are going to be defined to have a mass of one. Finally, we need to define how this object is rotated in three-dimensional space. In bullet, the x-axis runs left and right, where things placed to the right have a positive x-coordinate and things placed to the left have a negative x-coordinate. The y-coordinate describes the vertical height of an object, where a positive y-coordinate is an object placed above the ground, and a negative y-component describes objects that are placed below the ground. And finally, the z-axis describes uh, how far into the screen, or how far out of the screen, the object is placed. In order to rotate an object in three-dimensional space, in bullet, you need to define how much this object is rotated about the x-axis, how much it's rotated about the y-axis, and finally, how much it's rotated about the z-axis, which gives us a total of 10 numbers.